The last time I reviewed a TCL device on the channel were two interesting but sadly unattractively priced tablets. <laughs> Leave me alone! <laughs> ah! Akira! This time, TCL is back to interest me with the TCL 40SE, which is also known as the 40XL in the US market. It is a phone that's surprisingly impressive despite its entry hardware specifications, but still leaves a lot to be desired. And despite that, I'm still going to tell you about it in this review. The TCL 40SE is a pretty nice looking phone with this purple color option. The phone obviously had a plastic build and features a tapered back with a satin finish that at the very least doesn't attract fingerprints and smudges, which I appreciate compared to so many others that uses a glossy back cover. The phone has a big 6.75 inch HD plus display that refreshes at 90Hz. I'm surprised by how good it looks with decent colors, contrast and not looking pixelated at all which if you don't look closer at the spec sheet, you'll be tricked into thinking that it is a full HD display. This is all thanks to TCL's Next Vision Image Enhancement Technology, which greatly improves image quality when turned on. On top of that, the TCL 40SE has pretty decent dual stereo speakers, which is quite uncommon for me to say that because most entry phones with dual loudspeakers tend to produce underwhelming audio quality that sounded tiny and lacks bass. Here's how its loudspeakers sound like. Powering the TCL 40SE is a MediaTek Helio G37 SoC mated to 6GB of RAM and 256GB of storage. It ships with Android 13 out of the box and is currently running on the April 2023 security patch. The phone will work just fine if you're using it for Facebook browsing and viewing TikTok videos. Though it occasionally annoys me with some lags and stutters, which is totally forgivable for what it is. What I truly appreciate is the clean software experience that TCL offers. As compared to other phones, it comes with very few pre-installed apps and doesn't overwhelm users with gimmicky features in the settings. The TCL 40 SE features a triple camera array that includes a 50 megapixel f1.8 main camera that's assisted by a 2 megapixel macro and depth camera, which is a pretty standard setup found on most entry-level phones. But this is where this phone managed to impress me when I use it to take some casual photos. Just look at the details it managed to capture on these shots while maintaining naturally saturated colors. This is totally unexpected from an entry-level phone camera. On top of that, the camera app is also feature-packed and has a one-shot mode that works similarly to Samsung's single take. You simply ask your subject to do some funny actions as you tap on the shutter button, it then highlights the best shot and sometimes even try applying filters that you least expect. Battery life is great on the TCL 40 SE as you would have expected on an entry-level phone. A 5000 mAh battery powers your day, which will comfortably go up to 2 days if you aren't a heavy user. When it's time to juice up though, that 18 watt charging speed will test your patience and it takes around 90 minutes to get it fully charged from a dead battery. Although the TCL 40 SE is a pretty good entry-level phone, its retail price will unfortunately disappoint you. It starts at 699 ringgit for the 4GB RAM and 128GB storage model and this unit with 6GB of RAM and 256GB of storage will set you back for 799 ringgit, which you can already buy a phone with much better hardware for the same amount of money. Come on TCL, you guys make good phones and I'm sure you already know that the entry and mid-range phone market is already so competitive here and it makes me really hard to recommend your phones if you don't price it cheaper or at least try to offer better hardware. But as usual, it is always good to see choices and different smartphone brands here. And I look forward to more smartphones from TCL. So yeah, that's all for my review and thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.